Hey, what's going on guys? Dan Rice, FHCoutdoors.com. That sound was the sound of my rod box slamming shut. Now here's the deal. Everyone has gas struts or gas lifts or gas cylinders in the rod box to hold it open. Of course, once those seals are broken or the struts are damaged, that power, the staying power, that strength that keeps your rod box open goes away, goes bye-bye. I actually just broke one of my favorite rods of all time, the Alpha Angler Hitter, and had to go through the warranty process to get it replaced. I will say this, Alpha Angler has some awesome, awesome warranties that you guys need to check out. I was able to replace the entire rod for a hundred bucks instead of paying $300 for another one. So I will say that that saved me a little bit of coin out of the pocket. But what we're gonna do today is I'm gonna show you how to replace these struts or the gas springs that are on your rod boxes, maybe in your center, center storage areas or in the rear compartment near the motor. When those go, it's time to replace them and it's very, very simple. It takes about 20 to 30 seconds per, per strut or a gas cylinder and you can buy them online. It takes a lot longer to get to your door than it is to install these bad boys. So let me put the GoPro on and show you guys how to do this in about 30 seconds. All right guys, so let's get to this. This is the gas spring or the strut. Most of these will have some sort of model number on them. Uh, this one is Ameritool Manufacturing. Looks like it, uh, model number is ML10-40 pound, meaning this particular strut or cylinder has 40 pounds uh, of pressure. And uh, what I did is I went ahead and upgraded to 60 pounds uh, so that I don't have this problem again. Um, this is one of the old ones, but I'm going to show you right now how to take one of these off. All right, guys, as you can see here, uh, just about to take one of these off. I do have the rod box being propped open on the other end just to make sure that it doesn't fall down on my head. Uh, trying to record this can get a little bit uh, a little, a little bit harder than just doing this on your own. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and slide around here on the side and there's just a little groove. You're gonna get a flathead screwdriver, pop it into the groove and pull up. And you're essentially removing that retainer clip. Here's the key. You don't wanna remove it completely. All you need to do is stick the tip of the screwdriver in there, pull up a little bit just to loosen it. And as you do that, you're just gonna pop this right off the ball joint. I'm doing it with one hand, so it's a little bit harder. Put it in, push up on the pin, and then pop it off the ball joint, just like that. All right, on this side, go ahead and put the end of the screwdriver in the little hole, pry up and pull off the ball joint, and voila. So you might be wondering, you have the old one off, you can do this obviously in your garage or at home and measure it because what you need to do is measure the distance from each end to make sure that you are buying the correct replacement. Uh, these are about 11 inches um, when they're open like this and so all I did was went online, put in um, gas strut, 60 pound, and I put in Skeeter Bass Boat, and this instantly popped up on eBay. I believe the gentleman's name was Skeeter Tom, and uh, the model number here is ML10-60, which is 60 pounds of force on this particular strut, so it is an upgrade. So the really, really cool thing about installing new struts onto the particular mounts that you already have here, one on the end of the rod box, one up on top, is that you don't actually have to mess with the clips at all to put these back on, they just pop straight on. And um, you know it's a very, very simple thing to do. You don't have to mess with the retaining clips. All you literally have to do is take this guy here, push it straight onto the ball, come down to the other one. If you need to turn the head, you can do that. You might have to lift up a little bit, push it back on, and you're done. 
So just like that you guys, it took 30 seconds to replace your strut. I went for a little bit of an upgrade, but as you can see, you can actually bring this rod box down halfway and it will actually just either stay or go right back up. It's the best way to protect your rods when you're bringing them in and out of your box, especially like your net. And of course, when you have kids and, and other people in the boat, it's just nice when everything works as designed. Um, you know, this was very, very simple. If you have any questions, post down below. I will have some links down below to some of the, the more up-to-date struts, um, but by no means is that where the supply line starts or ends. You can obviously check online, eBay, Amazon, and lots of different manufacturers to get replacement struts for your particular boat. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys on the water.